everyone, welcome back once again to The Blind Pig. As always, I'm your host, Jason. If this is your first time joining us, hello, thanks for joining. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment below. If you've been here before, welcome back once again. Uh, so today, we are gonna talk about single barrel bourbons. Maybe a little self-explanatory, I'm sure some of you watching this video know exactly what they are, but let's go over it anyway, and I think it'll help out a lot of the new people that maybe are just getting into this whole bourbon craze. So, if you're like me, uh, a trip to the liquor store lately is a bit overwhelming especially when you go to the bourbon selection. There are dozens, if not hundreds, depending on the size of the store, of options to choose from. Uh, some brands you've heard of, some you haven't, but you can pretty much be safe when you see a single barrel bourbon that it's a little better than something else. What a single barrel bottle of bourbon is, uh, normally when they produce bourbon, they'll produce dozens or hundreds, depending, or even thousands, depending on the size of the distillery, uh, of barrels. When it comes time, they've reached the proper age, uh, they'll pour all those barrels into one giant vat, uh, kind of get a mix uh, of different barrels that came from different spots in the warehouse, uh, different colors, different flavor profiles, and be able to then combine those all together to make the exact flavor they want. With a single barrel bourbon, uh, much like it sounds, you're just choosing from a single barrel and getting that selection. Why that's important is you get some differences. Uh, you don't always get that exact same consistency. Uh, so for example, using our Four Roses. Four Roses is a fantastic bourbon. Uh, their basic stuff is one of my favorite mixers. Their single barrel uh, is marked here with the barrel number, uh, as well as the date and the warehouse that was produced. This is important because if a warehouse is in one location uh, versus another, there's gonna be different temperatures, uh, different humidity levels, different light levels. All those things over the years, uh, when the, barrel, the uh, bourbon is aging, excuse me, uh, can contribute to different flavor profiles. So with a single barrel bourbon, you know that you're getting one specific barrel that was produced, um, you know exactly which barrel it came from, usually the date it came from, and you can know that you're getting something a little more quality that wasn't just something blended together to create the same old profile you always get. Uh, so I have here a few of my favorites, all these are single barrels. Um, I think one of the most important things is to enjoy the bourbon you get. Uh, so let's go ahead, I'm actually gonna crack one of these open. Uh, this is a Buffalo Trace, so we'll actually tell you right now, this is um, Single Barrel Select from Fine Wine and Good Spirits, that's my local liquor store. Barrel number 255, so you actually know specifically which barrel it came from. Let's crack this open. I'm gonna pour this into a glass you might, may or may not have seen before. I've done it on my channel before. This is from a company called Whiskey Grail. Uh, these are actually made from uh, white oak. Uh, they char the inside, so exactly the same way that you make a bourbon barrel, white oak charred, uh, and they make a wooden cup. It's pretty neat. The idea is that it adds a little different flavor profile to your, to your bourbon you pour into, or whatever liquor you pour into it, so cheers. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, that's fantastic. I've had tons of Buffalo Trace. There's a few barrels behind me. Uh, I've used them in videos before, but that single barrel, that just hits different. Uh, so thanks for joining. Again, please like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. Thanks.